little kitty, did you finish your 5,000 word essay? Snap. Really? How in the world? Oh dear, I know AI has become a powerful tool, but it looks like it's growing even bigger now. And that brings us to today's big question. What if AI takes over the world? Zoom in! Imagine a future where you're sleeping peacefully while an AI assistant quietly monitors your brainwaves not to spy on you, but to detect the perfect moment to gently wake you with a calm voice for a refreshing start to your day. By the time you're done freshening up, your clothes are already laid out, carefully chosen by AI based on the weather, your schedule and even your mood. As you walk into the kitchen, the smell of your favorite breakfast fills the air. The meal has been prepared just for you, tailored to your health, energy needs and taste. And school, that will look completely different. Instead of traditional classrooms, you'll learn from AI tutors who adjust in real time to your learning style. With smart glasses, math problems will float in front of you in 3D and history will feel like time travel, taking you through ancient cities and world-changing events. Beyond your home and school, AI will run the systems that power society. Cities will be cleaner and more efficient with traffic that flows smoothly and energy that adjusts to real-time demand. Hospitals will use AI to diagnose and treat patients faster and more accurately than ever before. Even governments might change. Elections, for example, could shift from emotional campaigns to data-driven decisions. AI may one day analyze huge amounts of information to recommend leaders based on their skills and past performance. That could make things more efficient, but also raise tough questions about democracy and human choice. And here's where things get complicated. What happens when AI becomes so advanced, it starts making decisions we can't control? Not because it's evil, but because we forgot to build in limits or safeguards. That kind of scenario is what experts call an existential risk. When technology grows faster than our ability to manage it. Then there are jobs people worry that AI would take over everything from truck driving to legal work. But that's not a new fear. When the steam engine, electricity and the internet appeared, people panicked too. And yet, each time we ended up with new jobs, but different ones. So, what matters now is how we respond. We'll need to stay flexible, learn new skills and design AI that works with people, not against them. Ask questions. Talk about it with friends, teachers and family. Imagine the good it could do, like curing diseases, fighting climate change or helping every student learn in their own way. But don't stop there. Ask the harder questions. Who decides how it's used? Who benefits? Demand more than just innovation. Ask for rules global ones, not to stop AI, but to guide it in the right direction. So the next time someone says, AI is going to take over the world, you can smile and say, only if we let it. Trivia time! Did you know American computer scientist John McCarty is widely known as the father of artificial intelligence? Yes! He's the one who first used the phrase 
artificial intelligence and believed machines could be made to think, learn and reason like humans. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Aradhya Shandilya. Hope you learned something intelligent today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. All right, kitty, time to head to school. No worries. Kitty's AI replica will go to school today. Never mind.